Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working in Pro Tools, and today's topic is going to be the clips list in Pro Tools. This is another one, another one of those, um, I guess you could say, up to some point, a little bit of the obscure um, configurations or options or features from Pro Tools, okay? So, first of all, what is a clip? Okay, when you, when you record audio, for example, this track here, I have a shaker. Okay, when you record audio, um, you're creating a new audio file. Okay, the audio file uh, contains all the information and it has a start and an end. Okay, the audio is stored in a WAV format or AIFF, depending on um, the format that you selected when, when you created the session. But in general, uh, most likely it's going to be a WAV file and it's going to be stored in your audio files folder. Now, the, the audio file is always there, okay? Unless you decide to delete it for some reason, but it's typically always there. Now, if you if you do something like, um, you know, you slice a clip and move it and then duplicate it and move it around, this is still the same audio file, okay? It's just that the clips have changed so that basically if I press play, you know, the shaker is going to start playing and then automatically it'll play back again from this part, from where this starts, right? And then it'll keep going and then the file will play back again from wherever this new clip starts. Now it's the same file. It's just like we're starting it at a point and, it, and it, it'll play back and then it'll stop and right there it'll start again from another point, okay? So the clip, it's actually just information that tells you from where to where you're gonna play back your file. The file is gonna be the same. Now the thing is, the more you edit a file, the more you chop, you slice, you move around, you duplicate things, you move things around, the more your computer um, has to use its uh, horsepower to process that and um, playing back the audio file from those from those positions, from those places, okay? Uh, that's why typically when you do a lot of editing, uh, the computer tends to get a little slow and you might find yourself in a situation in which you have to basically render your editing. So, um, that being said, the clips list you can find, um, bottom right corner, there's this little arrow here that points to the left. If you click there, here's your clips list. As you can see, I have two clips. I have clips called, a clip called Shaker 01 and then Piano 31. Shaker 01, if I click on it, it's the clip associated to my shaker track. Now my Piano 31 is the clip, in this case it's a MIDI clip, because by the way, clips can be MIDI or audio clips, okay? So Piano 31 is the clip associated to this MIDI information from this piano that I have. Now, um, check it out, check this out. This is Shaker 01, right? That's the name of the clip. You can see it on the clips list. If I basically put my mouse on top of it, and I slice it in, in, in half, check what's gonna happen. So two new clips have been created. Shaker 01-01, Shaker 01-02. Cause why? Because one clip is the this part and the other clip is this one. Now the original file is still shaker um, dash o or underscore 01, right? But since I split them, now they are two clips. Okay, and if I do it one more time, now there's another one, 010304. And if I duplicate, for example, and I, you know, I slice it again, and maybe I delete stuff, I'm, I'll am i keep creating new clips. But the audio file is the same, okay? Let me go back here. Now, um couple things here from your clips list oh let, let's do the same thing here with the piano that's a instrument track if I go here put my playback and I basically slice it then I have piano 32 and piano 33 32 is the first one 33 is the second part but the 31 is the original one if I basically uh, undo the action back to 31 now um, why is this important? This is important because um, you're going to find yourself in situations in which, as I said, you're going to be editing a lot. 
You're going to be slicing audio. You're going to be slicing MIDI. You're going to be copying and pasting stuff. You're going to be duplicating stuff. Um, you're going to be trimming. If you trim, you see, the clip has changed. Because this is this is a new clip because it's it's a it's a new clip based on the original clip, but it's different because it's it's been trimmed, so it it won't play back for the same amount of time that the original was, because I trimmed it. So if you go here in the clips uh, list, you have um, a couple options that are pretty important. Uh, one, show you can show all the clips, so audio, MIDI, video groups, you know, color processing, day file type, blah 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 blah. You have all those options there. Um, in this case, you know, we only have two clips because this is very simple. This is just for demonstration purposes. But you're going to find yourself in situations where you have 300, 400 clips just in this list. So if you want to look for something, you know, you might want to only show maybe audio or maybe just show MIDI. You can also select all the unused clips. Like um, if you slice and create new ones, maybe the old ones you don't use anymore, you can select those unused. And then you can do uh, clear. Right now it is um, grayed out because I don't have anything selected. But if I select this one, for example, I can go back there and clear if I want to. You can also rename your clips. You can batch rename, or auto rename, replace the clips. Now, um, you can also find, okay, the find feature, find clips, lets you find something that by some reason it's lost. And it's not that it's lost. It's that you kept editing and the original um basically went behind and you can't see it anymore. So you can find clips there. Now, I think one of the most important, if not the most important feature of the clips list is the fact that you can, for example, click on a file or click on a, on a clip from your session, like here, and you can open the clips list